have always heard about and been fantasizing about superheroes batman superman spiderman and many more but have you all heard of her she is wonder woman we all have seen her in movies and comics well she is one of the first female superheroes to be created in history and in comics we all love her and if you haven't watched her movie then you must but why are we suddenly talking about the wonder woman the first thing that crosses our mind is the amazon as we all know that the wonder woman is the princess or the conqueror of the lost amazon river so now where exactly do we find this amazon do you know where we find the amazon in south america in our previous lessons we have been learning about the amazon basin as one of the most important physical features of the continent and in this lesson we'll be learning more about the largest basin on planet earth it exists as the lungs of the planet giving out huge amount of oxygen almost 20% present in the atmosphere and absorbing large amounts of carbon dioxide it is home to various ecosystems and has a diversified flora and fauna now this basin has a lot of importance and significance when it comes to studying it as a physical feature of the continent The Amazon basin as we can see here expands over or around one of the longest rivers of the world that is river Amazon. Now this river Amazon originates from the Andes mountains that exist on the western coast of the continent and we have already learned this. So it originates in the Andes mountains and it flows out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now the Amazon River is the second longest river in the world after Nile and it has a length of 6400 kilometers. Now it is also the largest river of the world in terms of the volume of water it carries. So the Amazon River is the largest in terms of the volume of water carried and the second longest after River Nile. Now we know that humans are experts and they excel in the field of exploring the mother earth and so it has done in the case of the amazon the amazon is a living example of where people have not left a chance to explore every minute and every inch of the basin now just like exploring the basin they have managed to navigate despite difficulties the second longest river in the world and they have done that up to a length of 3700 kilometers from its mouth now what is the mouth of a river So the mouth of the river is where a river joins or flows into a larger water body. Now if you want to revise on rivers and its different parts, then you can simply click on the link below and access the i dictionary feature to revise chapters on water bodies. Now let's proceed with a lesson with the Amazon. So here we looked at the second longest river. It is also considered to be very very deep and wide. Now the Amazon's extended tributaries play a very important role in the Amazon basin. The extended tributaries include Rio Negro in the north, Zingu and Madeira. Now these three are the major tributaries that join the Amazon River and flow over the Amazon basin. They tend to move massive amounts of water through the basin thus making it very very rich and fertile in nature now other than these it is estimated that around 1100 other tributaries are a part of the amazon river system the amazon river basin is also famously known as the amazonia and as i mentioned earlier it is the largest river basin in the world let us look at the latitudinal extent of this large river basin so as we have already learnt in our previous lessons the amazon basin extends from 5 degree north to 15 degree south latitude 
and thus we can say that it mostly lies in the equatorial belt that is around the equator now what does this tell us this tells us that falling in the equatorial belt it experiences rain almost throughout the year and thus it is also known as evergreen forest so as per the climate of the amazon forest it is hot humid and wet this is same as the other key characteristics of the places that lie in the equatorial belt so it experiences rain throughout the year it is moist humid wet and it is also hot as it receives direct rays of the sun almost 24/7 now because of this unique climate the region is covered by thick dense forest so the amazon basin is covered by dense evergreen forest and these are called the tropical rainforest now these are also known as selvas so we understood that the amazon basin since lies in the equatorial belt experiences a hot humid and wet climate because of which the region is entirely covered by dense thick evergreen forest known as tropical rainforest and also known as selvas do we find their mountain forest or tropical forest or dry deciduous forest or do we find their mangrove forest yes we find tropical rainforest as the most prominent vegetation of the amazon basin the amazon rainforest that exists on the amazon basin is unique and diverse both for its flora and fauna the flora and fauna here has a species a variety of which includes different animals and plants the region is also known for magnificent and beautiful waterfalls different water bodies seasonally flooded savannas and wetlands the region here is covered by thick dense forest that forms a roof like structure by its leaves that does not let the sunlight penetrate and reach the ground leaving the ground damp and dark now because of which the region is rich in trees that are shade tolerant so the amazon basin is unique in its own and it acts as the lungs of the earth with such rich flora the region is known for a unique fauna we have already discussed in our previous lesson about some of the most unique animals that we see there like the capybara tapirs squirrel monkeys owl butterflies and many more here are some more of them we have macaw sloths we also have the largest species of spiders that is the goliath spider here we also find some of the largest snake species that is the anaconda you must have heard and seen movies about anaconda they are large and they are very dangerous we find such unique animals only in the amazon we also find here some of the smallest types of monkeys and they are known as marmosets on the other hand we also have some of the most significantly beautiful birds like the storks so you see that the unique basin and the largest rainforest is aptly called unique because of such varied plants and animals now as i have been mentioning the forest here is very dense and thick so penetrating and researching about the different flora and fauna was very difficult for the scientists in the earlier times however over the years due to advanced technologies and access to different machines now the research are being carried out with the help of helicopters and drones now over the years one of the most important developments in south america has been the trans amazonian highway now the trans amazonian highway is the only highway that crosses through the thick amazon forest connecting the peru coast with the atlantic port it is one of the longest highways of the world and it is the only highway that cuts through the thick amazon basin now this particular highway has also made access to this forest easier thus helping the scientists and researchers explore more undiscovered and unrecognized species that exist in the amazon forest now as the global time is proceeding 
The demand of the growing population is also to be met, and only to do that, the Amazon is being misused. There are various illegal commercial agricultural activities that are carried out in the Amazon basin. We know that the Amazon absorbs large amount of carbon dioxide. When the same forest is being cut down, the carbon dioxide that exists in these trees tend to escape into the atmosphere, thus increasing the overall temperature of the earth and adding to global warming. So the human activities are the key cause of losing such beautiful wonders that exist now, but it might not later. Now, other than the illegal agricultural activities, we also see clearance of vast areas of the Amazon basin for cattle rearing and cattle farming, especially in the Brazilian Amazon. Now, Brazil is one of the countries that have been warned by international community to cut down on the deforestation. Because we need to realize that deforestation of the Amazon will not only harm the forest, but the entire humanity that exists today. When that wasn't enough, people had no less greed and they carried on with their illegal practices, which also included illegal and unregulated mining in the Amazon. Now this not only is destroying the vegetation of the place, but also the soil that holds on to the vegetation, thus leading to the overall degradation of the very important and significant basin on Earth. Now another important factor that has led to the degradation of the soil and the vegetation of the Amazon is the traditionally used shifting cultivation or slash and burn method of agriculture. Now firstly, what exactly is shifting cultivation or slash and burn agriculture? It refers to that type of agriculture where people clear a plot of land, grow crops there, that is they cultivate that land and over the years when that land has lost its fertility, they move to another piece of land, clear it, burn the land and then repeat the entire process. So you see, they slash out the trees, burn the land and cultivate the land. This is one of the most primitive methods of agriculture that has been used since the ancient times and it is still prevalent in the Amazon. So it has played a very important role in destroying the ecosystem that exists in the Amazon. It has led to the degradation of the soil, making it very, very unfertile and it also has harmed the beauty of the magnificent Amazon. Now it's quite unfortunate to see the before and after images of the Amazon rainforest. We see that large areas of the land has been cleared for agricultural purpose and for cattle rearing. And it will be too late to realize that the Amazon is the resource that we can use in our fight against global warming will actually cease to exist and will turn out to be very bad for the future generation. Now, because of various agricultural activities, both legal and illegal, the region has suffered a lot of climate change. The climate over the Amazon is believed to be drying out. Now, because of the climate drying out over the Amazon, it has left the forest vulnerable to drought and forest fires. The forest fires have been worst in 2020, especially in the month of August, where Amazon faced severe and threatening wildfires that shattered all records of the world. Agricultural practices, particularly the slash and burn method of agriculture, has been responsible for different wildfires in the Amazon. Now these wildfires have extended to unintended places and for which people were not prepared. Though the locals say that farming is a primary activity and they're economically dependent on it, they need to be careful on how they carry on with their agricultural activities. The Amazon has been vulnerable to such wildfires and drought. The region or the climate over the Amazon is drying out and it is a matter of concern. It is believed that the Amazon is emitting more amount of carbon dioxide than it is absorbing it and the oxygen level that it used to provide us with is actually decreasing day by day. Now we need to understand that we have the opportunity of using Amazon as a resource in our fight against global warming rather than destroying it. Deforestation and other such illegal practices like mining had destroyed the lives of indigenous tribal people living in the 
Amazon rainforest. They have been living here since the prehistoric times and they are completely dependent on the rainforest. So if we only for our greedy needs cut down on these rainforest, then it will not only take away their home but also kill them as they are not ready for the modern world. They are not exposed to the modern world and they are only dependent to the primitive methods of living. So measures need to be taken in, not only by the countries of South America, but globally to save what is known as the magnificent Amazon. With environmental awareness and camps being carried out at various places across the globe, there are various researchers and scientists working hard to conserve and preserve the Amazon. We can see pictures here where researchers and scientists are working hard to save the Amazon. Now, a very good example of the same is of the indigenous Amazon leader, Nimonte Nenquimo. She won the world's foremost award for grassroots environmental activism to save Ecuador's rainforest. So just like her, we all can take little steps to save our Amazon and the nature with which we are blessed. As part of the awareness, there are various strikes and protests being carried out to protect the Amazon rainforest. We can see here people from across the globe carrying different placards, painting their faces, going on in rallies, sitting down on strikes and protests only to save the Amazon. So in this lesson, we got a complete insight of how important the largest existing river basin and the largest existing rainforest is for us and for the existing humanity. We need to cut down on our miscellaneous activities that are harmful for not only the forest but also for us. And finally, we need to use the Amazon as a resource in our fight against the environmental issues. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.